Hello and welcome to the Royal Dip here in the city centre of Edinburgh, a building founded on science. Very much similar to what inspired us to create Minus 33. My name is Sam Trett and I'm the proprietor and geek behind local lab distilling. We set out to create the best tasting spirit we could and we used the finest ingredients and worked with the best professionals to ensure that every drop is flawless. When it comes to creating cocktails, we're no different. And today we're here working with Martin Duffy, founder of Salt Liquids and the Scottish Bartenders Network, to create a list of great tasting cocktails and serves that are easy to make that you can create at home. So stay tuned to find out more. Hi, I'm Martin Duffy. Today I'll show you how to make two great drinks with my East Nest Tea. First up, what we like to call them the 33 and Tea. One regular measure of minus 33, then a slice of orange. Get it prepared first. Very glass of ice. The ice makes a difference. More ice, the less dilution and the more flavour we have all the way to the end of the drink. Some natural white tonic. And then what we find is a piece of fresh orange. Open right up to reveal some of the juices. Squeezed a little and garnished. There we have it. The perfect 33 in tea. Another great serve of my 33 is what we like to call the hibiscus fizz. And this is a drink you could have before dinner as a palate cleanser, sitting out in the garden in the middle of winter. Either way, it's going to taste great. Take two parts of my 33. Also some fresh lemon juice, and that'll add a nice zing to the drink, one part of that. What the lemon juice will do, I'll bring from all the flavours to the fore. It's counter to that, that we take a lot of sweetness. And rather than using some sugars that are heavy in glucose, we're going to use some like Gaga Nectar, which is a, a low GI sweetener. The Gaga plan is a member of the Alvino family, and it's very naturally good for you. Also, to add a little bit of colour and a bit of flavour, we'll take some dried hibiscus, we drop it in the shaker there, pour it all in over a lot of ice to get it nice and chilled. And then we're going to serve it very elegantly into champagne fruit. And a little more hibiscus as a garnish. And then, lastly, a little bit of sparkling water. And that will give it a beautiful fizz and help carry the flavour. Ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoy your home and enjoy it responsibly. That is the Hibiscus Fizz.